much is true, the world can feel upside down. Camp will always be there for you, it will always be around. We've got weather, sports, trivia, and shorts, and there's so much more that we've got. I'm Josh Polster. And I'm Aliza Makovsky, and this is Boke Air Tove Sugar Grove, your daily indoor world morning radio show. Today is Wednesday, July 1st, the 9th of Tammuz, and we are so excited to be back with you. Today on the show, we will once again have some classic rom call music. We will tell you about some of indoor world challenges today. We will talk with a very special guest, a good friend of ours. And most, possibly uh, most importantly today, we have a very, very special announcement straight from the Roche Mosheva, so stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. We are so happy to have you. Hashem <laughs> Do 
Welcome back, everybody, to another incredible morning of Indoor World and amazing Indoor World content brought to you by Yurt Sevet. Uh, let's go through the updates for today's Indoor World challenges and events. First of all, we hope you all had a great night, Tochnit, last night. I found that video absolutely hilarious. Roshé Da, you did a wonderful job. Thank you so much. Today in Tochnit, uh, with the Beit Midrash, we're starting to talk about famine. And how big events in the world cause you to reflect on your place in the world and cause you to ask big questions about community, humility, and resilience. Stay tuned for the next Tochnit video, which will be posted soon, and pay attention in your Chavrutot to learn more on this subject. We'd like to give a very special shout out to the winner of the 301 raffle, Yehoshua Davies. Join the 301 with your Roshé Beit Midrash at 7 p.m. every night for five minutes and one second of Torah. It's going to be amazing. Congratulations, Yoshua. You too can get a shout out in this special segment by attending the 301 and entering the 301 raffle. Now, today's daily challenges for the individual and seva challenges, keep an eye out. They're going to be posted shortly after our show. Uh, they're going to be amazing. Get ready for them. The bunk challenge for today is bunk boggle. Make a, a cool word using the first letters of everybody's name in your bunk. Take those letters, mix them up, try and make the coolest word that you can uh, to be judged, again, by your Roshé Mosheva. And the family challenge is to everybody individually, but in the same video, eat a fruit by the foot without using your hands. And I think there might be bonus points for speed. Oh. So let's see how that goes. Turn in your challenges soon for points, points, points. Points, points, points. We would also like you to stay tuned for a very special announcement about maybe, possibly, I don't know, opening up one of your small packages. I guess you'll just have to wait and see. More importantly, everybody, 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 everybody. must be at Aruchat Esser today at 12 p.m. It is extremely important that everyone log on to Aruchat Esser at 12 Eastern Time. The Zoom links will be posted on the calendar and the homepage of the Indoor World website. This This is is not optional. If you're wondering what it could possibly be, get ready to find out at 12. This morning show podcast is brought to you by the following sponsors. Hey guys, it's me, the Broccoli Man. Um, I live underneath the Shechem Shack and I've lived there um, my entire life. And one, I only eat broccoli, but one day I accidentally spilled a bunch of uh, Hershey's uh, chocolate syrup all over it, Hershey's brand chocolate syrup. I'm not advertising them in my advertisement, but I did use the Hershey's brand syrup, and I spilled it all over, and I realized it was the most delicious type of snack in the world, so I opened an entire restaurant for it, and the restaurant features chocolate-covered only broccoli, but different types of chocolate. We got chocolate-covered with dark chocolate. We got chocolate-covered with semi-sweet. We got chocolate-covered with white chocolate. We got um, all different types of broccoli, so just come on on down and just come right on down and come right on in. It's underneath the Shechem Shack. Come to my house. I will serve you directly inside of my own kitchen with my own broccoli and my own, my own different types of chocolate, and I hope you will enjoy it, and I hope you will enjoy uh, the rest of my commercial. Come and eat the chocolate broccoli. That was the jingle. That was the jingle for my broccoli. All right. Thank you. Uh, everybody should probably check out that broccoli, chocolate broccoli shack. Uh, today in weather and traffic updates. Today in Sugar Grove, it will be partly cloudy with a high of 80 and a low of 61. It looks like right now the sun is starting to come out. It's been a little cool this morning. Hopefully that heats up. We have a north-northeastern wind going nine miles an hour, uh, so that should be pretty consistent. Once again, 
there's almost no chance of rain because it never rains in Camp Stone. And why would anybody think that there would be rain? It just doesn't happen. Never, not once, not at all. Today in news from Sugar Grove, we would like to wish a hearty mazel tov to the Skunk family under the Mishpachot porch who just welcomed their 21st child. Congratulations. Mazel tov. We would like to give some shout outs to those who are listening live today. Hoovy from Rochester, Jacob from Charleston, Akiva from Cleveland, Molly from White Plains, Avital from Skokie, Al from Brooklyn, and Saz, sorry, Saz from Odeen. Thank you all for listening to our show live. If you want a shout out on next, on tomorrow's show, listen live and comment your location in the chat and we'll give you a shout out. That's pretty fun. Shout out to Skokie, my hometown. Hope everybody's doing well. All good things. Now, on to the mailbox. Thank you to everybody who answered our Instagram poll uh, of yesterday, uh, where we tossed, we asked you if you prefer the OBK, the Outdoor Bay Knesset, or the IBK, the Indoor Bay Knesset. And the results were pretty one-sided. Uh, the OBK won handily with a 70% majority versus 30% of people who prefer the IBK. What do you think, Elisa? I definitely prefer the OBK. I just really love feeling like the the air and the weather and I just I love connecting to nature while I'm also davening. I I totally hear that. However, the IBK does have one uh, advantage, actually two advantages in my mind. Let's hear it. That that make it a little bit better than the OBK. Not that I don't love the OBK. I do. Uh, you know, for every day, OBK is my go-to of because course. that's where we daven every day. Of course. Um, but the IBK has two advantages. Let's hear One it. being uh, air conditioning. Ah, yes. Which it's not air conditioning. It's temperature controlled. Temperature controlled air circulation. It's different, uh, at least according to the people who run it. Uh, and the second one is Kabbalah Shabbat on Shabbat. It's yeah. always in the indoor Bay Knesset, and, and that obviously holds a, a lot of special memories for, for a lot of people. Um, and, and that gives me some, uh, you know, a positive boost of emotions associated with the IBK. That's a really good point. You definitely cannot be... Full camp Kabbalah Shabbat in the IBK. Nothing beats it. The sound, the echoes. The heat. The heat. <laughs> All right. Today's question of the day, which will be posted shortly, will be, what is your favorite camp tablecloth design? Let's throw out some of our favorites to get people rolling. There's obviously Hello Kitty. That's the classic one. Um, frequently, we've also had uh, Star Wars Rebels, I think. Uh, those orange and blue ones. I like the baby announcement. It's a boy. It's a girl. I, those have, I haven't fun. seen those ones in a while. I know. When was I the last hope, time we had I, those? I'm not sure. Hope we uncover some more soon. All right. Well, so if, if you've got ones that we haven't thought of, maybe you've been uh, around longer than us or, or you remember something that we don't, let us know. Comment uh, on our Instagram, Indoor World 2020. There's going to be a poll up there soon. Uh, your favorite camp tablecloth design uh, or theme. Let us know. Uh, And we'll announce the winners slash most popular ones on tomorrow's show. We're looking forward to hearing from you. All right. We are so excited to announce that we have launched a new Indoor World podcast. The podcast is called On Shmira, and it is your nightly podcast where your favorite seven members share their favorite Shmira stories to help you fall asleep. You can find the first episode of the podcast on the Indoor World website, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many other podcast apps. We hope you enjoy it. Today's morning show podcast is brought to you by the following sponsors. Hi, I'm Broccoli. Last year during first session, we were all witness to the horrible tragedy that happened at Shechem. That wretched day, like most days do, started off fine. Yaakov and Esti asked me to make some guest appearances at meals and occasionally during Limonana, and I was happy to oblige. But then, out of nowhere, I was forced into a situation I did not agree with. Which is why I am here today to plead with you, Machana Stone. Please stop putting chocolate on me. It is gross and unseemly and needs to be stopped immediately. Yes, everyone thought it was funny the first time, but the amount of repeat offenses that followed was the most shocking. People started putting chocolate on me, broccoli, regularly. It happened to, it happened to promote more color wash dick. It happened when people went home. Some people even started doing it unironically. Can you believe that? They actually liked chocolate on broccoli. Now, I know you, Chanichim and Chanicho, love your shtick, and I know whatever happens in camp is the coolest, most fun stuff ever, but please, for the sake of all things good and kind, please stop with the chocolate and broccoli combinations. I beg of you. Okay, a drastic call to action from Broccoli itself. Uh, Next up, we have a 
very special guest, uh, very dear to both of us on Between Two Bunk Beds. Uh, and this is a person who not, not a lot of people uh, maybe know exactly how much he's done for camp and for campers. Uh, let's hear him talk about it. It's Moses Beebe. Same. We are here on another episode of Between Two Bunk Beds. Welcome back to the show. We are very excited to have a good friend of ours and a good friend of camps here with us on the show today. Introducing Moses Beebe. Happy to be here. Happy to have you. It is just, it's so nice to have you here. Um, we're really excited to talk about all the nitty gritty details of MARP life here at Camp Stone. Um, <laughs> Moses, can you tell us a little bit about what you're doing now with Indoor World? Well, I am currently working as an EMT up here at camp, um, which means that just in case, God forbid, anything goes wrong, I'm here to help. But I have a lot of help with Aliza, your host, also Aliza Berkowitz, who is Rosh Macha. She's also an EMT, so anything that happens, we're good to go. Um, the other things I've been doing is that I've been helping you guys do some village work and pack a couple of boxes. Uh, that's been pretty exciting. Just just a few boxes, Oh, right? just a few. There can't be too many going out. Yeah, not, not, not too many. If you've received a package, it has most likely been touched by Moses Beebe at some point in the process. Listen, if you want, you can have it autographed and signed by me. It can be worth a lot of money someday. Who knows? I don't know. This exclusive offer is now a part of Bokeh Tov Shikar Grove. Get your Moses Beebe memorabilia today. <laughs> Send us a message, Instagram, at World 2020 Plug, plug, plug. We're almost at 700 followers. Yeah, it's anyway. pretty exciting. <laughs> Truthfully, I like saw that you were running this Instagram and I was kind of jealous. I really wanted to run. <laughs> I wanted to run like some form of social media. I don't know. TikTok is still out there. A Camp Stone official TikTok. We're not TikTok doing. TikTok has been shut down I hard can't. by the powers that be. <laughs> there is no, none of that is happening. We've got Instagram. We've got Facebook, we've which got is just YouTube. the same thing as Instagram. We have there have been a ridiculous number of YouTube videos posted. I don't know if there's a limit on like how many YouTube videos can be posted in a certain amount of time, but if there is, we're going to hit it. I think I think the record currently is 17 videos in one day. Is that, does that sound right? It sounds legit. And we've had something like 14,000 views at this point. That's wild. Oh my God. So keep watching our videos, everybody. Indoor <laughs> World is going well. Listen, if I'm not doing any of that type of social media, at least I'm recording all of your... Uh, Right. Ads on the right. podcast. Moses, Moses is uh, responsible for some of the very, very important advertisements. You know, we couldn't do this this podcast without the support of um, all of these different people and and companies. Um, you know, this isn't you, you can't just sit here and do this. It's not just fun. There's some serious stuff going on, and Moses has been handling the business side of the operation. The bills don't pay themselves. That's what I say. <laughs> this interview with Moses Beebe is brought to you by Moses Beebe. <laughs> Roche Advertising for the podcast. Totally. Oh, what is this called? Okay. The Morning Show. Show. <laughs> Don't worry about it. We're using a podcast app, so sometimes I get confused. Sure. You can find it's this reasonable. where all podcasts are available. So Spotify, Apple Podcasts. I clicked all the buttons, so you should, you should be able to find them somewhere. Click all the subscribe buttons you can possibly find. Totally. Now, Moses, um, do you do music? <laughs> Well, obviously, everybody here has heard the morning show theme song that and me, Jackie, and Yael recorded. It is beautifully done. Yeah, it's pretty It's pretty. But exciting. let's talk about uh, two of your other biggest hits. The first one would be the, the morning med song. <laughs> well, I'm not sure if that's me who should be getting most of that credit. I think, actually, uh, I hope I got his name right, but Gideon was a camper last year during first session. Who, I believe, yes. <laughs> who imitated me during the Color Wars game. I, the line I heard was, that kid was trying to imitate Moses Beebe, but he did a better job. Yeah. <laughs> it's Ouch. totally true. Moses, <laughs> you've been replaced by a camper. No, he's so good. And I try, basically, every single time I sing the Morning Med song now, I basically just imitate Gideon. <laughs> so it's now like, it's, it's an impersonation nice. of an impersonation. It's a, exactly. It's a nice, low, deep vibrato <laughs> baritone of like Gideon a, first of all I really hope your name's Gideon if it isn't blame Moses second of all message me please <laughs> get in touch with us we are looking to do an, a, a professional recording of the morning med song and we'd love to include you in the project listen I I just want to know how you got that like yes, morning meds <laughs> so like into the process good. I that was very impressive the it's, second very good uh song well this is the one I love but I feel like not so many people know it is the Advil song 
Yeah, the Advil song from the MARP. It's actually really good. We, we came up with it in 2018, I believe, during first session. And uh, we sang it actually last year. During, on Shabbat. On Shabbat, which was so good. And I, I I don't know. We didn't really sing it again after that. But like, we definitely should have. Should, yeah. we, should we do a second? Should we do a second? Yeah. Let's do a second rendition. Okay. Uh, if you ever need an Advil, an Advil, an Advil, if you ever need an Advil, just come to the mark. An Advil, a Dayquil, a Band-Aid, or Benadryl, if you ever need an Advil, just come to the mark. <laughs> there you go. That's our bonus song for today, brought to you by Moses B. Well, that was so good. That is so definitely... Good. Really, my favorite. So my good. favorite Mark now, song. Now, Moses, uh, we we've got this tradition now of of posing the tough questions to our guests here on on Between Two Bunk Beds. Lay it on me. Uh, and we've been asking the public for their opinion on a very important question here at Machane, which is OBK or IBK. Ooh, ooh, that's a great one. Well, to be quite frank, I do love the OBK. I do, I do, I do. I, I love the davening that goes on there. You know, sometimes I like to chillax there when, like, no one's hanging around. That's That's weird. not true. I don't know why I said that. But... I've been spending a lot of time in the IBK. For a lot of you guys who don't know, the IBK is where we packed all of those boxes that you guys have gotten or will be getting. But like... Canada, we're shipping yours out tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, Canada. But <laughs> I spend a really long time in there. And by the way, when you play music in that place, <laughs> it's just booming. Well, the campers Amazing. know exactly what that's like after uh, after our sessions with DJ Rafi. Oh, you mean DJ Raji? DJ <laughs> Raji. The linebacker for the Green Bay Packers <laughs> was not following at home. DJ Raji. I think Missing he's six foot three him. and three hundred pounds. <laughs> he was a knock on a stone. <laughs> Disclaimer, was... this podcast may or may not tell factual truths. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Oh my god, that was a great time. De- definitely like top three experiences in camp. Yeah, what are the top what are the next two? Ooh. Um, I loved the broccoli. Color War Breakout. Oh, I yeah. That was fantastic. I just actually just learned the Broccoli Dance today, which mm. is really late considering, but it is, that song is so good. So, Alisa, so why, good. where did that come up today that you learned the Broccoli Dance? Oh, well, check out the YouTube channel for a, a super special, that's not how the, super special challenge. Bonus challenge. Bonus, that's the word I was looking for. It's a, a bonus, bonus challenge. challenge. It relates to Broccoli. Go check it out. And uh, the other really big event is definitely like a MARP thing, but I'm definitely not allowed to talk about that for legal <laughs> <Okay>. reasons. <laughs> All right. Top, top secret MARP events. Make well, Moses' top three. <laughs> Moses, it's really been an honor and a pleasure having you here on the show. Thanks for having me, guys. This Thank you great. so much for all your contributions. I think listeners at home have been really enjoying them. I am so happy about that. I love the fact that campers are getting to listen to the stuff that we're working on and really be able to get like a real full experience even though they're at home um i don't know sometimes i kind of wish i was a camper right now yeah absolutely pretty incredible campers or listeners if you have any favorite moses bb memories that you'd like to share with us give us a shout out in the chat here on spreaker or on our instagram page at indoor world 2020 this has been another episode of between two bunk beds moses thank you for joining us thank you so much Thank you so much, Moses, for joining us. It was so much fun talking to you. We are, we are so thankful to have you. Um, our next segment is our guest segment, one of our favorite segments. And today we're welcoming back Sarah Klein with another What I Strangely Miss About Camp. What up, everyone? It's me, Sarah Klein, and I am your host of What I Strangely Miss About Camp. Today, I'm going to be talking about something that's not so strange, but we all miss it, and that is, of course, Shechem. Who doesn't love Shechem? Layla, what do you love about Shechem? I love that that is a time where you can like hang out with friends and eat junk and with no one like judging you like your parents. But. Exactly. Nowhere else in the world would I just be able to eat a big bopper, a hot pretzel, and a soda all in like the span of 15 minutes. And I say it like it's a bad thing, but it's really not a bad thing. It is an amazing thing. Second. Okay, guys, now I'm going to talk to Hava Schaffner about what she loves about Shechem. Hava, what do you love about Shechem? Okay, are we on a Zoom call? No, we're on the podcast. Oh, the podcast. Hi, everyone. Okay, hear me out. I know Big Boppers are the classic fave. Hershey's um, Cookies and Cream, also the classic fave, but... Almond Joy, that is where it's really at. Only the elite of the elite like Almond Joy, I have to tell you. 
So if you like Almond Joy, text me 314-406-8601 and we can bond about our love for Almond Joy and how we can stand up to all those that like Big Boppers. Okay, thank you. Bye. Okay, well, apparently Hava likes Almond Joy, so she clearly was not the right person to talk about this to. But thank you guys so much for listening. I know you all love Shechem as much as I do, and I hope to, I don't know, I, I keep saying see you again, but it's not really see you. It's like, I hope you hear my voice again next time on this podcast. Thank you guys so much for listening. Um, Yeah, love you. Miss you. Bye. Mwah. Thank you so much, Sarah, Layla, and Hava. I'm honestly a little confused. As far as I'm aware, we don't have Almond Joy at camp because we don't have any peanuts or tree nuts at camp. So I'm not really sure. Although now that I'm now that I'm saying this out loud, I wonder if she's talking about mounds. I think we have mounds at we camp. We have mounds. Because that's like Which Almond Joy. Which is the Joy other without, version of Almond Joy. Without the almonds. Right. And that could I, be. I actually share that unpopular opinion with Hava, which I'm a little embarrassed to admit. Is admit. that the is that the coconut one? I love coconut. Alright, that's odd. Yeah, it is. Anyway, moving on to our <laughs> next segment. You're trying to you're trying to shuffle off of your yeah, love of let's, coconut chocolate. Let's not focus on my unpopular right, opinions I'll, I'll give right you, now. I'll give it to you this time, but we'll, we'll come back to that another day. Uh, it's time for leaderboard updates. Quick stat for the day before we get to the leaderboards. Um, our YouTube channel has been exploding with uh, views and with content. So far, we've had 208.9 hours, hours of content watched by all of you since Indoor World started on Sunday night. That is an incredible amount of content an incredible amount of viewership. So thank you all for following along with us and for, for joining us on this ridiculous journey through the Indoor World program. Um, it's just incredible. So stick with us. Uh, now that bunk names are in, getting back to the to the leaderboard, bunk names have been submitted as of yesterday. Uh, and then today, bunk scores will be updated along with those names to go up on that leaderboard. Keep working hard on those bunk challenges. Uh, today, the Tsevet leaderboard has not budged yeah, El Grayson, Hava Schaffner, and David Bentor continue to take the lead with 70, 60, and 50 points, respectively. Uh, in the family league, the Frankel family has jumped out in front with 220 points, followed by the Piper family with 200. The Samet family and the Kelman family tied at 180 points. In the individual league, the rankings have stayed more or less the same, but everybody's gotten a lot more points. Mayor Frankel from Gimmel has stayed on top with 316 Keep it up. Tess Piper uh, in bet with 299 points has leapfrogged her sister slash relative Molly, question mark, uh, who's down to fifth place with Micah Frankel and David Fellhammer in between at three and four. So that is today's leaderboard standings. Those stats are going to continue to be updated today and across the program. Keep completing those challenges to earn more points and make it onto the leaderboard and onto our morning show. Let's have one more song for our morning. Boy, no, it's a hook. Nearly a camada cot lays a hemba me comocha as a inu yella dim. Lopahad no stam lichot, glia minus at saot. Lilit lot et a tick vot, kmokvisa al havalim, kmoises nemeshugaim. Bachov, Shamar no egaim, balev shatin utanov, veat ait yafak mo perach, shasu aya liktov, ratsiti rak liktov. Oh, <laughs> עם יחפות, מזיכרונות ואכזבות שאז רצינו לשחרר כמעט ויתרנו על עצמנו נברח רחוק מהשגרה כמו אז שהסתפקנו באושר הפשוט כמו איזה שני משוגעים בחוף 
שמרנו רגעים בלב שתינו את הנוף ואת היית יפה כמו פרח שאסור היה לקטוף רציתי רק לקטוף אותך, רציתי לקטוף כמו איזה שני משוגעים בחוף שמרנו רגעים בלב שתינו את הנוף ואת היית יפה כמו פרח שאסור היה לקטוף רציתי רק לקטוף אותך, רציתי לקטוף כמו איזה שני משוגעים כמו איזה שני משוגעים בחוף שמרנו רגעים בלב שתינו את הנוף ואת היית יפה כמו פרח שאסור היה רציתי רק לקטוף אותך, רציתי לקטוף כמו איזה שני משוגעים Thank you all for listening to our show today. Reminder, again, that absolutely everybody... Everybody! You think you're not included? You're wrong! Everybody, everybody. is included. You need to be at Arukhat Eser today at 12 p.m. It's a new item on the schedule. It's going to be up on the calendar. It's going to be up on the homepage of the website. You must be there at 12 p.m. Eastern Time. We'll see you there. We will. We'll see you there. And that's it for today's episode of Boker Tov Sugar Grove. Thank you to Jackie Austin, Yael Engelhardt, and Moses Beebe for our fantastic intro song. We will be here every morning at 9.45 Eastern Time, streaming live on the website. You can also catch up on our past episodes on the Indoor World website, Spotify, and Apple Podcasts. Thank you for joining us here on Boker Tov Sugar Grove. Now, to to Reem to Indoor World. world. Times have changed and much is true. The world can feel upside down. Camp will always be there for you. We will always be around. We've got weather, sports, trivia, and shorts.